Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Farley. And I'm Stephanie Beacon. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. First up, everyone, are you looking forward to the Super Bowl this weekend? And if so, <laughs> are you looking forward to the commercials as well? Oh, some people say they enjoy that even more than the game. And joining us now to talk more about some of the ads is Rick Laney of Rick Laney Marketing. Rick, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We want to start off, there's just so much buzz around some of the commercials, one being the Audi ad. Yep. Yeah, that, that's one of them. It's funny, a poll was released yesterday that showed what people were most excited about with the Super Bowl, and number one was the commercials. The Super Bowl itself tied with food for number two. Wow. <laughs> what about okay. like Peyton Manning? They yeah. didn't ask well, here in Knoxville, because no, that, that was might not have come a, out It was top. not a local poll. <laughs> yeah, there, the, it, there's a trend in recent years to release spots early, and mm -hmm. so some of the spots are already out, and they're making the rounds on the internet, and um, when marketing companies and companies in general do Super Bowl ads, they're paying an astronomical amount of money. Um, this year, it's $5 million oh, wow. for a 30-second spot, wow. which if you do the math, comes out to $166,000 a second. And so what they want them to be is not just good marketing pieces, but they want them to be entertainment. And so they take the same approach with their spots that you do with a movie or a TV show. There's drama, there's comedy, there are gimmicks, and you see that in a lot of these spots. The Audi spot you mentioned, Stephanie, is actually um, a, a dramatic spot with a, a retired astronaut. And, and there's some others that are definitely already getting some buzz as well, one of them being the T-Mobile Drake commercial. Yeah. What is making that one so appealing? It, it's the humor. It, it's an actual Drake music video, and there's a line in the song that says, you call me on my cell phone. Um, and the marketing people are in the background, and they interrupt the music video shoot to tell him all of the terms and conditions, like certain fees apply, and insert it into the spot. And we're watching that right now. And, and it, it is so different than it was. I hate to rat our ages out here, Rick, but you know, 10, 15 <laughs> years ago, you didn't get to see the commercials before nope. the Super Bowl. You nope. had to wait for the commercials. That, that's right, Kristen. And some companies now, because so many of them leak early, some of the companies now actually build some excitement by not releasing theirs early and keeping them under wraps. So there are a couple spots that are first time ever Super Bowl ads. Amazon has one, mm -hmm. um, PayPal has one. Those spots are not making the rounds and people will be watching for those during the game. And these are just so popular with the viewers. Yeah, they, they're popular with the viewers, but they can actually make or break a marketing firm or a yeah. company. Last year, you had the nationwide insurance ad, what became known as the dead kid ad, where the little boy was talking about all the things he would do if he wouldn't have got killed in an accident. Right. They actually had to issue an apology for that ad and they fired their marketing officer that <laughs> very soon after the commercial yeah, appeared. Yeah, I think generally when people watch the Super Bowl, they don't want something quite that heavy. I no, hate to say no. that. But let's real quickly, let's talk also about the Honda Ridgeline commercial. Yeah. That is another one that you've pointed out to great, us. Great example of a gimmick ad. Um, it, the past has proven that talking babies work really well mm -hmm. during the Super Bowl, so why not singing sheep? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and this one is getting a lot of uh, play on the internet and a lot of a lot of buzz and excitement. And of course, uh, puppies as well. Is it, is it Budweiser and the puppies? Uh, do I have they, to, they, the horses? The, the horses, horses yes. with Budweiser. <laughs> puppies have certainly been been used extensively. And like I said, talking babies, talking yeah. sheep, all, all of those gimmicks seem to generate buzz. And you know, everyone's going to be watching the game because of Peyton, but the commercials as well. Rick. Of course, and and we'll be back, I think, on Monday to talk about the best ones of this year. And depending on the outcome of the game, it might end up being chicken parmesan. It tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> so. You never know, Rick. Thank you so very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Kristen. Always good to see you. And if you'd like to watch all the Super Bowl odds that have been released early, just head to our website, wat.com, and click on the As Seen on WATE.